eight centimetre ground worker, you put your thermobaric in there, you put your 12 gauge blank in there, you drop that bad boy down here. Welcome back to AATV. I'm your host, Tom Anvil Hibbard, and today we're going to take you through our coverage of the British Shooting Show 2023. This is a large shooting sports and outdoor pursuit show held every year at the Birmingham NEC. As such, it's mainly focused towards real shooting, shotguns, hunting with dogs, air guns and the like. But there is some airsoft content there. NEC is very easy to get to by Birmingham, just off the motorway, or you can get there quite simply by taking a train from Birmingham City Centre. Gadget and I drove up on a Friday morning, first day of the show, have a good look round, see if we could find some stuff be interested to you guys and we did and whilst this is primarily a shooting sports show if you're interested in outdoor pursuits outdoor clothing and equipment you'll probably find something that will suit you and your interests if your primary interest is in airsoft replicas you won't find much on show here much more of a well-rounded shooting sports show that being said let's get on with our coverage Is it an airsoft gun? No. It's a backyard plinking brake barrel. It's a brake action. It's got an air gun. What you got there, Tom? They call it an MP German machine pistol, copy of the Schmeiser. I know it's not Schmeiser, we're going to call it Schmeiser for convenience for sake. But it's not an airsoft gun, it's a CO2 magazine fed 4.5mm or 1.77 air gun. So it'll be semi auto. But I mean, in terms of looks, feels really good. Probably useful for some of our living history reenactment type people that just want something super easy to buy. It does the job, and it's got you know, it's got enough working parts that it's going to do something. And it'll certainly look good around camp if doing some demonstrations. Thompson as well, very similar. So magazine fed CO2 air gun. Again, great for you living history guys. If you don't want to go through the hassle of trying to get a defence to buy an airsoft replica, you can buy an air gun straight out anyway. So at the British Shooting Show, my eye was immediately drawn to this as a Cold War fan of the old West German G3 battle rifle. Now, this is an absolutely lovely gas model, and uh, we've kind of persuaded the guys to let us have a go on one a bit later in a future video, and I might even get dressed up for a loadout guide for West German Bundeswehr infantry of the 80s. So moving forward to a slightly more modern day replica, we've got this lovely licensed 416 AEG. Again, an absolute classic and a firm favourite of a lot of airsofters, and the finish on it is just beautiful. Carrying on further on the Umarex stand, come across HK MP7 AEG. If you want something a little bit smaller, a little bit tighter for tight CQB, these are fantastic. Firm favourite with a lot of players. There you go. Guys at Vortex UK were very kind, invited us behind their booth for a quick chat about some of their popular airsoft related products. So still at the British Shooting Show 2023, I'm here with Chris from Vortex UK. He's going to talk us through three of their most popular items that airsofters tend to use and they see day to day going in and out of the shop and the store. Chris, over to you. So yeah, um, Vortex kind of exploded into the, the airsoft scene. I say this now, but it's not that recent. We've been in here for like five or six years quite yeah. solidly. So what we've really seen is this is the old faithful strike fire two red green uh, cantilever on there. It's a staple red dot. You're seeing it for under 200 quid. They look super cool. They go red green. It's like a comp M2 if you're into that kind of retro stuff. That's yeah. it. We get a lot of people who yeah going for that look. So no, we've seen those go absolutely fantastic. This is one of our what I would call newer generation of red dots. A lot of people are going to recognise. I've got two myself. There you go. <laughs> Crossfire red dot, skeletal mount on there. You can run it flat as well. You've got a dial on the side to anyone using gloves, which we see more and more of people doing. You can get to a dial much easier than I reckon with buttons. Um, and again, we just see these, what, sub 200 pounds? 
Is that advertiser's night vision capable? It is on the new one, yes. So you've MV1 and 2 setting on there. There you yeah. go. So you can, if you have night vision, use it, yeah. you can use it for passive aiming. That's it's it, really yeah. Useful. So again, we see more and more of that in Airsoft, yeah. which is one of the things I never expected when we started this. Yeah. And then we get the questions, and I can say, yeah, we do. And then these, one to four, uh, Crossfire, we've seen these be super popular in the Airsoft market just because they're at that affordable LPVO. Amazed how well these have come into the market, but like I say, LPVO, one to four, illuminated, ticks all the box, looks great on top of a rifle. So yeah, there you are. Three for the Vortex range that we see just keeps going. And then of course one of the most important things about the Vortex range, and something <laughs> I've taken advantage of myself and you know exactly what's coming, is, yeah. is the warranty. Yeah, unlimited lifetime warranty on there, so we're covering accidental damage, uh, anything that happens, it's a transferable warranty as well. No need to register, no card, doesn't matter where you bought it from, comes back into us, we take care of it. it it's just as simple as that. Everyone's amazed that that's how it works, but that's how it's done. So, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for taking us through thanks that. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for coming on to see. Hope you see some great stuff at the show. Yeah, really and, yeah. See you. Cheers. Thanks. Tom, I've got, I've got a new gunner one. Well, it's not a gun, is it? It's a mortar. Whoa. Tom, this eight centimetre Granworth, huh? you put your thermobaric in there, you put your 12 gauge blank in there, you drop that bad boy down here, boom, and then to recover it, because obviously it isn't going to throw that out because that'll brain someone. Now, when I was doing World War II reenactment, I'd have killed for one of these, man. So, probably more realistic with my bad back, Tom, would be this slight dinky in comparison, two inch mortar. Same sort of thing, thermobaric in your fake mortar round, nine millimeter primer there, again, drop it down and you get a nice flashbang or smoke wherever you want it. So a subject close to my own heart, Tom, probably more practical for the airsofter is the airborne two inch mortar. Now you get a couple of these per platoon in World War II and they kind of carried on up until the Cold War. Again, you're gonna put your thermobaric round into your fake mortar shell with your gain nine millimeter primer. So you brace it, put your shells in there, drop it. It will actually commit this out, not this, so that'd be dangerous. That'll land where you want it. Fish this out of your water tube, stick it in your backpack, and off you go. And it's suitable for reenactors and reenactors, air softers. Air softers yeah. My friends at Scott Country had one of the busiest trade stalls at the show. This is one of the products they were selling, Pulsar Thermion Duo. This is a full, full color digital rifle scope with built-in thermal, and you can have the thermal or the rifle scope picture in picture. Absolutely incredible device. Huge amount of magnification. Probably a bit beyond the pockets of most airsofters. Here's something we've been wanting to try out in the range for a while. Recon tripod system for precision rifles. Be really useful for our range testing with both AEGs, gas guns, and bolt guns. Really nice item used by a lot of people in the country. This is a device that caught our eye, Pard NV007 which is a clip-on digital night vision and full color day recording device. So it records the image through your scope and you can also use it as a digital night vision device as well. It has a built-in illuminator and a remarkably low price. So we're gonna get one of these in and have a look at it for you. It may be a really great budget entry into digital night vision. <laughs> So we're here at the British Shooting Show at the BSA or British Small Arms Stand and we're looking at some absolute veteran rifles and submachine guns. Now a lot of airsofters get hung up on the finish and the woodwork and metalwork of their stuff but look at this SMLE. I mean admittedly it's over 100 years old but we're not talking pristine, not even talking matching wood finishes. Look at the grains, sometimes rough is more realistic. And Gadget, I'm looking at this Stiak Sten here. Yeah, well these were made literally in their thousands of small workshops during World War II. Generally for a budget of around about £2.50, I believe they were very cheap, we'd have to check upon that. But you can see there's quite a lot of rough welding on them. They weren't designed to be pretty, they were designed to chuck 9mm out cheaply. Yep, and then the, I've, had, I've had the pleasure of handling a North East Airsoft Sten and it's significantly better made <laughs> than this real one. You're rolling. So following on, BSA stand, not airsoft, but one of the most commonly requested guns, replicas, every time we say, what airsoft gun would you like to be made? The Bren comes up. This lovely example of a Bren Mark 1 from the BSA stand. 
really nice to be up this up and close personal to one and yeah I'd absolutely love there to be an airsoft friend absolutely brilliant addition big thanks to the British shooting show and all the people we spoke to and helped us record on the day we'll be back next year in the meantime stay safe and we'll see you soon <laughs>